um, when I was a little girl, I never felt like anyone really loved me. I never felt like anybody cared about me. You know, being abused, being verbally abused, physically abused, sexually abused, went on from the time I was four years old. By the time I was in the seventh grade, I really began developing a plan to try to kill myself. And by the time I was in the eighth grade, I did make my first suicide attempt. Fifteen years ago, I had nowhere to go. I was pregnant. I didn't have anyone that was really there for me. I, I was dating um, a lot of men that were in their late twenties, early thirties, and here I was expecting a child and and suddenly there was no one. There was no one to help me. Um, I wanted to keep my baby because I just never had anyone to love and I never had anyone to love me back. And that really was the honest reason that I made the decision to have my child. Um, so, you know, I'm sitting here today and my daughter's 15 years old. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's very, very intelligent. And, you know, she has a wonderful life. And I have a wonderful life. Women, women today that are faced with the same abusive issues that I was faced with really need to have a place that they can go, where they can be loved, where they can be accepted. Um, for a lot of people um, that were just like me, I was homeless. I had nowhere to go. And so um, I needed a place that I could go and lay my head and get on my feet, learn a few skills or learn how to get certain skills to be able to go into the world and make a difference. Um, I know that the funding's been being cut. When I was in my residential treatment program, I was there for 18 months. My thing is, you can uh, support a young girl in, when, in her teens, 16, 17 years old, and, and take the time, spend the money, invest the resources in those young girls so that they can grow up to be productive. You know, I've not been on welfare. Um, I've not taken a single welfare check. You can invest in young girls when they're younger, when they're having those issues, or you can allow them to grow up and hate the world and hate themselves and wind up either in prison or on the welfare system, um, or, you know, having to repeat the cycle with their children, with, with their child getting pregnant at an early age, and their child having to go through abuse, and the cycle will continue on and on and on and on. Today is great. Um, I have my ups and I have my downs, but no matter how hard things get, I know that I have the skills to keep going. You know, I wake up every day so happy and so proud to be a mom. And I've chosen to tell my story more than anything so that someone else can be helped by what I've gone through. I've also chosen to tell my story because there are people that are out there that are abusing and I want them to be able to see this is what you're doing to someone's life. This is, you're crushing someone's world and it's going to take a whole lot for that person who's been abused to have to come up in the world. And I want every pedophile to see me and know that you didn't crush me. You didn't hold me back. I'm going to be strong.